Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'll tell you how I bought the cheapest Nissan Leaf and probably the cheapest electric car in US for just an incredible price and I'll also tell you why this car is a complete disaster. But before I tell you how I got it for so cheap, I really recommend you to watch videos about my Mercedes C300 coupe on my channel, videos on things I hate, I like, how much I spend during 12,000 miles and more and more videos on my channel. So hit that like button, subscribe support my channel and let's begin. So first of all, why do I even need Nissan Leaf? Because I have my 2017 Mercedes and Nissan Leaf is kind of like a downgrade. I decided to find a car to rent it out on Turo and create some kind of a new side hustle. I'll probably make a video about renting it out on Turo, if it's profitable or not and what car to choose to rent out. And I was just scrolling Craigslist, offer up and probably on the next day I saw this car. I was like, what an incredible deal. Owner of this car listed it for 3500 and of course you can say I saw lifts for same price with 60, 70, 100,000 miles but the thing is is that this car had only 25,000 miles. I texted the owner and what's good they tried to make battery last as long as possible and what I mean by that is that even if it was standing for a long time they've been recharging it every week while it was standing and driving it around for at least five minutes so the battery is in really good condition and after making offers to each other for a couple hours we got a deal 2500 bucks for this it's basically the price of a Prius. And the funniest thing about buying it is that they located two hours away from my house. And if it's not a problem when you buy a gas car, it's a problem when you buy an electric car. And I'm not talking about Tesla. Tesla can easily drive for three, four, five hours straight. Leaf has a range only of 65 miles on a full charge. When you're driving on a freeway, that's what we had to do. It lasts about 45, 50 miles and it's incredibly bad. Because it's only if you're driving in eco and even if you drive a little bit aggressively you can easily get only 25 miles of range on it on a full charge and yeah it has charger you can plug it in at your house outlet but the problem is it takes 8 to 10 hours with this charger to charge it fully so basically you can drive 60 miles and then you have to wait 8 10 hours to charge it yes you can use a faster charger it's called level 2 charger that's how you charge your leaf some lifts have two different charging ports, this one has only one and we installed a level 2 charger and now it takes 2 hours to charge it at home, so not that bad. So to get back home we even had to stop once. We got it from a very nice family and the only one reason they were selling it is because they got Chevy Vault. Nothing wrong with it, they just didn't need it. And it was the easiest registration process in my life. You only need title because it's full electric, you don't need smoke check and other documents. You just come to DMV, give them title and they're like, okay. And let me show you how it looks. Really, for a 10 year old cart, it's an incredible condition. And they actually had it for 10 years. So for two and a half thousand bucks, we got backup camera. It's actually nice for that price. The paint is in really good condition. The only one damage here is this scratch, but who cares about it in two and a half thousand dollar car? What I was shocked about, no damage on rims. I have no idea how. And same with all four wheels. Very careful people. <laughs> it has some updated luxury, if I can say that leaf features, for example, solar panel on the roof. It helps your AC, media, music, Bluetooth, all of that work, not using main battery because it's already small. So if it's a sunny day, all the electronic stuff works from solar panel. It's really clean inside. I still think it's a better option than a Prius. And show me where you can find Prius with 25,000 miles for 2,500. All the screens look nice. So it already has almost 27,000 miles. It shows range here. It's not fully charged, so it can show you more. When you switch to eco mode by doing it two times, it shows you improved range. It also has this screen, this screen. It has Bluetooth, I was shocked. And if you're interested, what's under the hood? Basically, it's like a gas car. They put everything under the hood so you have no space like Tesla has. That's how it looks. And an average market price for Leaf with the same mileage is $5,400. So we got this car for two times cheaper than the market price is. We even have easy access here. We close the car, we open it. And they really think it's the best first car for a school student, for example. It's really silent. Let me show you the acceleration. And because it's an electric car, you get your torque immediately see 
it accelerates pretty quickly. Let me also show you this advantage. 46 miles, we accelerate a little bit. See, 45 miles and 100 feet later, we already have 44 miles. So if you're driving like crazy, expect 20, 25 miles out of it. But what's cool about it, if you drive like work, home, work, home and probably mall on weekends, you can basically use your car for cheap. It doesn't break, it doesn't need maintenance and you can even call smart if you live in California and they will provide you with the free electricity overnight so you can charge your car absolutely for free. And that's basically it. It's a boring car for a specific purposes, but definitely not as boring as Prius is. And if you don't drive a lot, less than 50 miles a day, I know most of people drive less than 50 miles a day because if you lease a car they only give you thousand miles a month it's even less than 50 miles a day so if you don't want a prius and want a car that will be funnier better probably with more features nissan leaf is probably your choice and thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe to my channel i will be very grateful have a great day